Knowing that you're a big analytics guy, what do you see gets the most hits at filmmaking stuff? Well, in, on my website, filmmaking stuff, um, it, it's, it's almost, it's, it's such a loaded question because when you ask, you know, what gets the most hits on filmmaking stuff in terms of analytics, um, I, I have to come up with catchy titles to my blog post or people don't read them, you know, being completely frank. Or they read them, but they don't tweet about them or they don't share them. And then I always feel like, well, does that mean they're not engaged? But then some days I'll write those really cool blog posts that are cool and have a boring name, but then I'll get all sorts of opt-ins to my email list, but nobody's sharing it on the social media, which goes back to my earlier um, thoughts about email and why I love email so much. Um, I don't even know how to answer your question. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me be pretty completely frank. Sure. I think if I do a really catchy, um, if I do a really catchy subject line, that's good because then people probably read the article. If I do uh, a subject line that, that's goofy and boring with a really great article, I think less people read that article, uh, if that makes sense. Hmm. So it sounds like it goes back to what you talked about for filmmaking, something that's slightly polarizing. Yeah, I think so. I think you have to take a point of view. Anytime that I've written articles on my site because I didn't want to offend certain segments of the filmmaking population, you know, then it just comes out being a mundane, boring article. But if I go in there and I'm like, Distribution has become a commodity, or or one of the ones that got a lot of. Um, I, I got really beat up over one of them one time. I, I wrote this article about, and it seems obvious to me, but I took uh, I took the same kind of math you would use for direct mail campaigns. You know, whenever you send out a postcard campaign, you know that only like one tenth and one percent of people are going to buy. So I was like, well, what if I apply that to my filmmaker website, and I say a very small percentage of people buy. How many units do I have to sell to get a million dollars in revenue? And it was like, I, I'd set these really like worst case scenarios to figure out how much I would have to spend in, in pay-per-click advertising. Um, and, and I came up with these different scenarios and really worked out the formulas. Um, and I got people to double check my math to make sure I wasn't wacky. And then I pushed, you know, publish. And the next thing you know, everybody's beating me up. Like all my comments are like, Jason, uh, you know, you'll, you can't make a million dollars this way. Or, you know, there were all these different reasons on why this, this thing would fail. And I was like, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm literally doing hypothetical math here. Um, and, and everybody took it as the gospel. And I'm not saying it is the gospel. And to this day, I'm telling you, that's really good, important stuff to know. Like knowing what your conversion rate is on your website is important to know. Knowing how much you're spending in advertising is important to know, especially if it's pay-per-click. And if that number, if your conversion rate's not high enough to support the money you're spending in advertising so that you can make a profit margin, I'm using my hands as a pantomime. You need, if you can't make a profit margin, you can figure that out pretty quickly. And that's all I was trying to express. But I think even though that concept is familiar to a lot of marketers, this goes back to the idea that if you try to talk at least the math aspect of marketing to filmmakers, then it's like their eyes glaze over. So theoretically, um, and, and in practice, if you can make the numbers work, you could just do a pay-per-click campaign that would pay for itself. Every time you make a sale, that sale is far and above what you're paying for that click. So you know you have to know your conversion rate in order to do that. Uh, I hope that didn't get overly nerdy for everybody, but um, it is a nerdy concept. But if you know this stuff, it's so empowering because now you could just like, you could spend thousands of dollars in advertising, pay-per-click advertising, but you're gonna make your money back each time you sell. And that's like, that's so awesome. It's so awesome. And, and that's why I get excited about filmmaking, you know, or at least some of these new tools that are available.